And then he says, verse 9, then the Lord your God will prosper you abundantly in all the work of your hand, in the offspring of your body, the offspring of your cattle, the produce of your ground. For the Lord will again rejoice over you for good, just as he rejoiced over your fathers. If you obey the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in this book, if you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and soul. Now watch very closely in verse 11. For this commandment, which I command to you today, it is not too difficult for you. It is not out of reach. Galatians 5.3 doesn't say it's impossible to keep the law. There's an atonement law because he knew they were not going to, because the sin nature makes it impossible for you to be perfect. Please get out of your mind the Christian statement that if I kept all the laws, I'd be perfect. When I say I haven't made these laws too difficult for you, they include the body of law as to how to deal with the fact that the sin nature will constantly manifest itself. Does that make sense? So from the beginning, God never expected perfection. He expected allegiance. What's the difference? Believers, what's the difference? Does he expect you to walk every day with perfection? He expects you to walk with him. He expects you to walk with him, not just his rules. He wants you to, to care about when you've offended him, not simply walk along like doing the wrong thing is okay with him. God doesn't get out of his chair upset with you until you decide that wrong is really right, right is really wrong, and you can live that way, and you're perfectly comfortable with it. As long as you are inflicted with the guilt, and you go back to conviction, and that conviction leads you to change, that's what we call a walk with God. 